Banish you from these waters. The poison that bubbles thick in your mind and your fangs are a fatal threat to the peace and joy of these beautiful shores. Leave instantly and never return. Five thousand years ago, a most wonderful boy came to make the beautiful land of Vrindavan his home. He spent all the years of his blissful childhood here, filling the hearts of the inhabitants of Vrindavan with pure love for him. Along with them, he performed his amazing pastimes and left his lotus footprints in the dust of these enchanting forests. These sylvan groves, these cobbled streets, friendly homes, and these picturesque banks of the river Yamuna to tell the stories of his wondrous feats. His endearing pastimes have been recorded in the ancient Sanskrit classic from India, the Bhagavata Purana. These stories have enthralled generations of eager readers and have carved a special place for little Krishna, darling of Vrindavan, in their hearts. Ah, <laughs> 
Krishna, what are you doing? That greedy boy stealing your butter, not me. Krishna, not greedy. I take butter from him to give you. <laughs> Oh, Krishna, you are the sweetest little thief in all the world. <laughs> on us now, Krishna. There is no way we can steal the delicious milk and butter. <laughs> we can steal? How? Oh. Like a... Huh? Huh? Can I punish someone for making everyone smile? <laughs> <laughs> Such adorable sons you have, Nand Maharaj. And Balram is so cute when he pouts. <laughs> While Vrindavan was enjoying blissful laughter, Mathura, on the other hand, was suffering from Kansa's torment. Serve your king? <laughs> How dare you present me <laughs> Where are you? How long will you elude me, my angel of death? No! I shall not be defeated. I shall find you and crush you under my feet. I shall search the length and breadth of this world. And find you. Huh? Are you crazy? You'll get sick eating dirt. No, don't swallow it. Spit it out. Oh, no, 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 no. Our mothers will be angry that I let you eat dirt. It's not my fault. What's not your fault? If Krishna gets sick, I told him not to eat it. Eat what? Dirt. Is this true? Did you eat dirt? He's lying. Look in his mouth. My dear little Krishna, can't you see how worried your brother is? Why have you eaten dirt? Mm -mm. Are you sure he ate dirt, Balram? Yes. There is only one way to know for sure. Krishna, 
If you are telling the truth, then just open your mouth and I shall see. Must be dreaming. Ah, uh, you're sure, though. She saw something inside Krishna's mouth. He ate dirt. I I saw the entire universe, uh, the suns, the planets, oceans, mountains, all inside his mouth. I think I'm losing my mind. Oh. No, your mind is fine. Have you not realized yet that Krishna is special? But in his mouth, I, I... You saw what we all see. One of the wondrous things that Krishna is capable of doing. Do you recall the fruit seller? Ah. Fruit, fruit, fruit! Delicious fruit from the forests of Vrindavan! Fruit! Mm. Don't the mango smell wonderful, Krishna? Ah. Will a basket of grain be enough for all your mangoes? Of course, Maharaj Nanda. You are generous as always. Krishna wants food. <laughs> Cry, little Krishna. That's more than enough for my juiciest fruit. <laughs> Hi. <laughs> How is it possible? It must be a blessing from Vishnu. But it was not Vishnu. Can't you see, dear Yashoda? It was Krishna's doing. But how could the vastness of the entire universe reside in, in our little Krishna's mouth? Open your mouth, you little prankster. <laughs> you see? There's nothing there but dirt. I knew I was seeing things. I must be losing my mind. <sighs> no. It's just your son's mystic power. Why? Even as a newborn, Krishna did wondrous things no grown man could do. Like that day, the demon Putna visited us. <laughs> Come! with human children. Whoever you are, show yourself before I sacrifice you. King Kamsa. I need your skills, Bhutana. I was told in a prophecy that the eighth son of Devaki would kill me. <laughs> the first seven have been eliminated, but the eighth one is my angel of death. I order you to kill every child born in the last ten days, thus assuring that my angel of death will be among them. Only someone who does not know Putana would order her to do such an evil thing. <laughs> for she would beg for the pleasure to do so. <laughs> Did you see?
see Nanda and Yashoda's newborn child? Krishna, isn't he beautiful? <sighs> Heavenly. I felt so blissful in his presence, I almost fainted. So tiny, yet such mystical power in his gaze. Krishna truly is an angel. Krishna? Angel? Surely this is the one. But if he is as powerful as they say, he could also be dangerous. I must be prepared for him. <laughs> Your venom is just what I need. Kamsa's angel of death will be a dead angel when he drinks my poison milk. <laughs> will surely attack a demon who threatens this child they love so dearly. <laughs> but will they attack a beautiful woman? Bestow your favor upon Krishna. Who are you? Why have you come to my house? I am a heavenly being whose ambrosial breast milk will bestow immortality on your Krishna. he could destroy the entire universe. I must be careful to kill him before he kills me. Is she Mother Parvati? The presiding deity of the material elements? She is certainly a celestial being who has come to bless darling Krishna. That's it, Krishna. Drink it all. And then my little angel will sleep forever. Stop! No! So you see, you 
Yashoda, your darling Krishna has always been the most wondrous child in Vrindavan. <laughs> Krishna, how could I have ever doubted that you are truly the most magnificent child in the universe? I just knew that foul-smelling demon would be afraid to take up my challenge. Trinavartha probably heard the uh, rumor, my king. What rumors? That, 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 that an infant child killed Putna. That infant child is my angel of death! If that hag of a demon couldn't kill him, she deserved to die. I am Trinavarta. You take on the form of a lotus flower to kill my angel of death? What kind of foolish demon are you? I am not the flower, King Kamsa. I am the wind that holds it up. <laughs> My young angel of death and kill him. <laughs> this angel must be a powerful being <laughs> if King Kamsa fears him so. The most powerful. <laughs> I will snap this powerful child in two like a twig in a tornado. I hope you're right, Trinavarta. I do so hope you're right. Krishna dear, your sweet music makes my hard work a joy. No play. Milk. <laughs> I'm not making milk, my little angel. Cows make milk. I'm churning butter. Milk! Milk! Oh, you want milk? My little jewel is hungry. <laughs> And you shall have all the milk your tummy can hold. Na, na, na. to interrupt you. Oh, Krishna.
I know you're hiding, but you have nothing to fear, my clever little darling. I won't punish you for breaking my butter pot. Krishna? Krishna! Have you boys seen where Krishna has gone? <laughs> seen an egg fall from a nest and shatter upon the ground? Oh. Hmm. You will soon know just what it feels like. Uh, uh, no shatter, Krishna! <laughs>
we'll light you away ten thousand miles! <laughs> 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 You're safe now, sweet Krishna. Mama! Oh, Krishna! Krishna! You're safe now, Krishna. The demon is dead. <laughs> oh, Krishna! You truly are the jewel of the universe. With changing seasons and passing time, Krishna was growing up. He was growing up as the adorable, naughty prankster of Vrindavan. of this lovely fruit as a special gift for Nanda Maharaj. That's so thoughtful of you, Subala. Look how hard Mother Wangal is working. Yeah. He's giving himself a lot of special gifts. I just can't think of anything else but this. <laughs> Subala, you deserve to take a nap as well. Good idea, brother. I'm for that. But Krishna, I'm not done yet. I'll take care of it, Subala. fruit for me to give everyone. Yes, who could have possibly done this? <laughs> so you made the miracle, Daddy Loba. <laughs> Glory is to Daddy Loba. <laughs> <laughs>
to remind myself to lock this door every time. Nothing is safe from the monkeys on this side of the Yamuna. Then, of course, there's Yashoda's Krishna. That little tyke could be at home right now. But in a minute, you will find that the choicest butter has vanished. Shh! Don't go there. And he is so adorable with his glowing bluish hue and beautiful face that I just can't get myself to chide him. Oh, he's an angel, all right. But he's not going to be able to trick me anymore. Do you know what Prabhavati has just hung up on the swing? I'll tell you. She has turned a large pot at the creamiest yogurt and has gathered delicious snowy mounds of butter into that pot. Oh, Krishna, don't do this. I can't bear it. Those creamy mounds glisten like pearls and blissfully melt when you place them on your tongue. Oh, Krishna, you... <laughs> it did look like tasty butter, didn't it, Daddy? <laughs> oh, no, you don't. You've had enough for today, Krishna. Have I? Can I ever have enough butter, Subala? Um... I'd have to agree with Subala, but my stomach agrees with you, Krishna. Then what are we waiting for? <laughs> oh, there they go again. But how can I miss out on all the fun? All the treasure disappeared. This mission is a total failure. Subala's right. They've hidden the goodies in the grain store. <gasps> Let's get out before they come back. Forget about it. It's impossible to get there. <sighs> Nothing's impossible when Krishna's around. And what do you plan to do this time, Krishna? I can do anything when I have such great friends. your 
Krishna red-handed this time. He has broken my pot and plundered the butter in my house, in spite of my efforts to hang them high up. And I don't want to look at his moon-like face and forget my anger. Is there anyone in the three worlds who can withstand his charm? So I just grabbed him and got here at the speed of the wind before he casts his spell on me and I carry him in my arms and I kiss his lotus face. Dear, dear Prabha, I know you're upset with my Krishna. I know you want me to punish him for his pranks, but you don't have to do this to convince me. Weren't you the one who told me to bring Krishna to you when he was up to mischief at my place again? So here I am. I caught him in my store. He's all yours now. Oh, Prabhavati, poor you. All these thoughts about my boy have really clouded your mind. Do you know just who you've brought to me? Who have I brought? <gasps> Chandra, what are you doing here? Mother! <laughs> you see, Prabhavati, it was your own son who was up to those tricks. Somehow you got it into your head that it was Krishna's tricks. Ah, oh, poor dear. Come here and sit down. And let me get you something cool and soothing. Your nerves are so stressed. Chandra, you mustn't trick your mother so. See how you've troubled her mind? I took Krishna by the hand. I saw it was Krishna. I walked all the way here holding Krishna's hand. Cool as the lotus in the morning dew. But... But Chandra, how did you... I saw it was Krishna. Oh. Mother, you of all people should know your own son. Why are you acting so strangely? Don't you know your own son? From that other brat? <gasps> Krishna? Mother Prabhavati, I am Krishna, son of King Nanda and Queen Yashoda. Krishna? Is that you? Who is it? My Chandra! But Mother Prabhavati, he was so hard on me today, bringing me to my mother like a thief. All I did was to taste that lovely butter only you know how to make. There's no better butter in all of Vrindavan. But, but, I just... You shouldn't do this to me again, dear mother. I am your little boy as well. Next time you do this to me, you'll have your husband by the hand. And that will really be the funniest joke in all of Vrindavan. <laughs> have gathered everywhere to offer their respects to you. They ought to. I hold their prosperity in my hands. They must know that I am the source of rain that nourishes their fields and fills their granaries. Sambartaka, grant rain to those humans who perform my sacrifice. I am Indra, king of the heavens. Indra, you forget your position. You are only doing your duty. Carrying out 
Lord Vishnu's orders. I do as I will, and I don't take any orders. Indra, I am your teacher. You have become intoxicated with your fame and glory. I advise you to correct yourself. Your pride will destroy you. Father, why must you have this festival for Indra? We must have this festival of Indra every year to please him so he may give us rain. Mm, is it just like we pay our taxes to King Kamsa every year? Oh no, Indra is not a wicked person. He controls the rains. Water is most important for life. That's why we worship Indra each year with this festival. But father, he's just doing his duty, carrying out Lord Vishnu's orders. Oh Krishna, this ceremony is an old tradition and we must not give it up. Father, then why don't we worship the earth, which gives us everything we need? Why not the sun, which sustains life? Why not river Yamuna? Krishna, you are right, but it is not practical. We can't disregard traditions that have been observed for generations. But father, should we blindly accept tradition? It is Lord Vishnu who has given Indra and the other Devatas their power. What Krishna says is true. All the Devatas work under the direction of Lord Vishnu. In the Vedas, there is no separate yagna prescribed for Indra. We are cowherds. Our wealth is our cow. All our cows depend on Govardhan for their food. We depend on Govardhan Hill for everything. So we should actually worship Govardhan and not Indra. My beloved friends of Vrindavan, we owe all our gratitude to mighty Govardhan Hill. Govardhan but Hill! Indra has always the lad doesn't know what he's talking, talking about. about. See for yourselves the wonders of Govardhan Hill, the very life of Vrindavan. Our cows graze happily on his forest grass and give us the sweetest milk. His waterfalls and springs quench our thirst. On his meadows, we grow our grains and pick our fruits. The wood from his trees shelters us in our safe and cozy homes. We depend not on Indra for our survival, but on our blessed Govardhan Hill. Bless you, Krishna. All this is not due to Indra but to Govardhan Hill. So, my friends, gather your offerings and let us celebrate the glory of Govardhan Hill. Please me with your prayers and offerings. You shall be greatly blessed if you circumambulate me along with your herds. Look! The villagers of Vrindavan are worshipping Govardhan Hill! This is shocking. How dare they? I must inform Indra immediately. Welcome, Samvartaka. Join me as I enjoy the glory of my devotee's offerings. <laughs> I beg your pardon, my lord, but I bring troubling news. Hmm. Uh, don't tell me you accidentally flooded another village. Put it out of your mind. <laughs> I'm afraid this news will greatly anger you. 
my lord. The villagers of Rindavan have diverted your festival to Govardhan Hill. What? Govardhan Hill? They've stopped my festival to worship a mound of earth? How could this have happened, Sambardaka? After all the rain I've given them? I hear they are misled by the banter of a silly boy. This is no time for jokes! I am sorry, my lord, but it is the truth. Krishna, the son of Nanda, has used his mystic powers to bewilder the minds of the people of Vrindavan. So, they choose to listen to some foolish brat instead of obeying my orders. These people have lost their minds. Now they will have my wrath upon them. Samvartaka! My lord. Go forth and inundate Vrindavan. Destroy the festival of Govardhan and destroy the impudence of the inhabitants of Vrindavan. Indra is sure to destroy us all. My dearest Krishna, I know you meant well, but your actions have enraged Indra. We must beg his forgiveness at once. But father... Wait, Balaram. Father is right. Their suffering is due to my advice. It's not too late. We can beg forgiveness from Indra. Wait. Krishna would never let any harm come to us or his beloved Vrindavan. It is true, Mother. My love for you all is too great to be checked by Indra's wickedness. I will protect Vrindavan. Krishna! Oh, my child!
all by himself? Thank you, Madhu. This is impossible. Lord Indra will show us no mercy if we cannot destroy one little village as he has ordered. Rage on, warriors. This storm must not cease until Vrindavan is completely submerged. Ah, Samvartaka, you seem exhausted. Sit down, sit down. I want to hear all about it. Tell me, is there any trace of Vrindavan left after your storm? My lord, your warriors have been making a raging storm for six days and nights with fiery lightning and torrential rainfall, the likes of which no human has ever seen. Good, good, good. They must have leveled Vrindavan by now. I wish I could say that, Lord Indra, but I must confess, our storms have been no match for Krishna. My storm warriors are no match for a boy? He holds Govardhan Hill above his head and protects the inhabitants of Vrindavan and their animals. Surely your eyes deceive you, Samvartaka. Six days of lightning must have blinded you. Bring me Airavata, my elephant. I shall ride to Vrindavan to see this miracle myself. It is as I told you, my lord. If this Krishna thinks he's some kind of powerful demigod, he'll soon learn how powerless he is against Indra. escape the wrath of Indra. Now you shall pay for listening to Krishna. cannot harm you. Do not fear.
storm is gone. Why aren't you going to celebrate with the others? And leave you to hold up the hill by yourself? Don't be foolish, Krishna. You are just a little boy. You go out first. You are too kind. Are you sure you don't want to go first? Thank you, Krishna. You have saved us all. Thank you. Don't thank me. Thank Govardhan Hill. I see you have a lot of affection for me. Why else would you come here after I've offended you? Lord Krishna, it is I who have offended you. I have acted like a fool. I had forgotten that it is you who give me my power. I am your eternal servant and I beg your forgiveness. Indra, you are blinded by power and ignorance. And I had to do this so you could see it for yourself. This is my mercy upon you. Such an uncommon boy has come to live with us in Vrindavan. All I know is that he is my son, my darling Krishna. Jai Krishna! Subala, now listen to the perfect swan call. The perfect frog call, you mean. <laughs> hey, or perhaps it was a monkey call. I bet Krishna can call the swans. Me? Uh, no, I don't think that's a very good idea. Sure it is. Go on, brother. Your voice is sweet enough to melt butter. I'm sure it can call swans. Yes, Krishna. Call them, please. If that's what you want. <laughs> oh, no. Subala, look out. <laughs> I told you it wasn't a good idea. The monsoon sets in by the end of the week. See that the best seeds are distributed to all the farmers to ensure a bountiful harvest. Yes, my lord. Nanda Maharaj! Nanda Maharaj! Help! Sukanta, what has happened? Maharaj Nanda, it was terrible. A, a great serpent rose out of the Yamuna. It had many heads. Poison spewed from everyone. My cows, they are poison. 
You speak of a terrible danger. What is this misfortune that has come upon us? Gather all the able-bodied men immediately. I will lead them to the Yamuna. See that the women and children are safely in their houses. Yes. Send word to all cowherds by the river to return to the village with their herds. Oh no. What's the matter, Yashoda? Rati saw Krishna and Balram watering the calves today by the Yamuna. So Bala, Madhu Mangal, Hapsi and Dadi. We must hurry. No time to waste. Uh, Krishna may be in danger. We must get there to help him. Yes, let's go. There you are. Come along, Hamsi. Krishna and the others are waiting. Hamsi! Hamsi, please! You can't even swim! You need to learn to come when you're cold, little Hamsi. Yes, with all those mangoes in your belly, you'll sink like a boulder. <laughs> the Yamuna's water is so cool. suffering to my friends. I will not tolerate this. Be prepared to face your end.
I said the children must be in a safe place. <coughs> Balram, you're all right. <coughs> Where is your brother? We must try to save him. No! No! No, father! It's too dangerous! But... <coughs> Krishna! Krishna! And in spirit. Krishna, you have forced all the poison out of him and he is no longer a threat. Is this true, Khalil? I beg your forgiveness, Krishna. My venom was poisoning my mind. Now I can see more clearly. You have helped me see that I was blinded by 
my own hate and anger. Very well. I will forgive you, Kalia. Provided you go off to the ocean and never return to Vrindavan again. But Krishna, without his venom, he's defenseless. How will he protect us from danger? Krishna, we fear for his life and ours. He has angered the mighty eagle Garuda. Garuda will never harm him when he sees my footprints on his head. I was just having a long swim. You are so mysterious, my child. But I have no need to understand you. You are my dearest, darling Krishna. And so, little Krishna, the magical boy of Vrindavan, danced his way to become the greatest warrior, the monster slayer, the adorable prankster, winning the hearts of his admirers for generations to come with his bountiful, captivating stories of great deeds and valor. <laughs> <laughs>